So the evaluation allows the therapist to have a chance to record a functional status, which in turn is going to justify your treatment plan and help with insurance reimbursements. So we'll go over a few common functional outcomes measures that will add to your eval and your reeval process and help justify your treatments. Medicare has a functional classification system that is used throughout the, the prosthetic rehab world, and there are functional levels zero through four. We'll go through them here. So functional level zero is no safe ambulation potential. These are patients that will not be able to wear a prosthesis for a myriad of reasons. Could be skin tolerance, mental status, cardiovascular deconditioning, increased balance issues, et cetera, et cetera. But these patients still need therapeutic intervention. They need to focus on safe transfer training into and out of a wheelchair. They need to work on wheelchair mobility training, crutch training, and residual limb care. A functional level one patient is your typical household ambulator. They will use their prostheses in the house and then will use a wheelchair or another assisted device in the community. They can go short distances, not long distances. They will use their prosthetic device on special occasions, or their Sunday legs as they call them, so church legs, a night out, walking the daughter down the aisle. Func functional to level type one are patients that use them for just those short, differences, those short distances. Functional level two are limited community ambulators with a prosthesis. So these patients are gonna use a prosthetic limb while navigating the community, like going to the grocery store or an evening out with friends or, or simple over even ground activities or hobbies they may have. Functional level three is community ambulator beyond simple locomotion. So these are patients that will use their prosthetic limb within the community over even and uneven ground. They can ascend and descend ramps and stairs and they'll be able to wear their limb for the majority of their day to include different physical activities. And finally, functional level four, the high impact ambulation to include athletics. These are your runners, skiers, mountain bikers, road bikers, golfers, mountain climbers, and swimmers. Insurance does not cover limbs for any of the, the activities I just discussed or any other high, high impact prosthetic limbs. Several nonprofit in, um, companies are, will help these patients learn the adaptive version of their hobbies and assist them in acquiring prosthetic devices. It's important to know the names of some of those organizations to help put the patient in contact with them so that they can help reach their specific goals with you and the appropriate devices.